Hello everybody, this is Elite Machine 07 and uh, I actually had quite a few requests uh, exactly in detail how to do Act 3 Chapter uh, 1 so Act 3 Chapter 1 so what we're going to do is go and start a private match obviously under your Act 3 Chapter 1 uh, here's the mutators um, to do this without having to do all this, now this is basically a critiquing on people that have already presented this way to level up online. I looked through all the content when it comes to chapter three, act one, or act three, chapter one, and I didn't see anything specifically on details of how to do it. What I mean by details is I'll show you. You don't have to cl uh, clear your system cache. You don't need to do all this other fancy stuff. All you ever, all you have to do is do it this way, okay? Now, the trick is, you have to have super reload turned on, and it's best to have infinite ammo because you will run out of ammo. Now, there's certain places you can pick up ammo um, within this area, but it's going to make it very difficult because you have to stop them at after you. Um, they break through the front gate and you fall back to the first um, fallback area you have to keep them in that area they cannot get through that gate if they do then it's just a a, a system built-in system uh, function to where it, it after so many times you reload the chapter to boost off your points for the king of the cog and certain on uh, certain uh, arcade medals it'll boot you out so it's the best to have your infinite ammo turned on and I'll uh, I'll explain why we'll just do casual just for this example um, I would probably put it on insane because you'll be able to get more points boosted I'd almost recommend it put it on insane because you'll get uh, more points uh, that way obviously so I'm just gonna skip through this part here Gotta wait for it to load here. And again, this is the best way I found doing it um, by critiquing methods that I had seen online already. And this is no more than just kind of a fine tuning of those skills. Okay, this is the beginning of it. Now, as you can see, you have your infinite ammo in the upper right corner there. Now, this is the best way to do this part. Now, people know that you have to kill Reavers to boost off those points right so what you want to do now I know people uh, in most of the people I think that originally saw the original videos have were standing at this location in my opinion this is not the best place to stand this place when you first get up the first set of steps when you first start this this is the best place to stand now Right about here is a perfect spot to stand. You always want to keep your active reload active and hit your super reload and aim. You see this little uh, dagger coming out of the side of the building? Aim right there and down a little bit. Right about there is the sweet spot. If As long as you're, zo you're zooming in all the time, there's at least five reavers that come through this one pin spot right here and you have to have your active reload. Now there's one. I'm only gonna get up to times 10 and get just a few of them because I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here. If anything, uh, why don't I just uh, fast forward and zoom through uh, this part right now that uh, I'm recording just so we can uh, catch you up to par and then we'll get to the front gate here. So we'll speed this, this part up. Okay, and now after you're done with that section, I just got a very, very small amount of points. Um, just for keepsake here, so we can see where we're currently at. Um, 
actually can't see how many reavers I've shot. I, w I would say you probably want to get uh, at least probably 200 to 80 uh, reavers or so. Um, I would say at least 280 to 300 on insane. Uh, and it's and I'll show you why it's it's best to have uh, super reload and infinite ammo turned on. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fast forward through this part so we can get up to the next section where you need to be. And again, this is on casual, just for demonstration purposes, uh, and you you want to make sure it's on insane. So uh, I'm going to fast forward through this part from here on out till uh, the next uh, crucial point. Okay, now what you want to do is just fall back to the gate here. Um, this is the place where you're going to want to sit and hold. You're, you want to hold them. Now, obviously, uh, once they get in here, this is the best place to sit, especially if you are an insane. They cannot get through that gate right there. They cannot get through that gate. Uh, and obviously, you're going to have to have, you know, super reload and infinite ammo turned on to basically allow you to do that. Now, you know, about emptying your system cache and all that stuff, um, yeah, that could probably be a uh, deterrent away from doing this method, but there's a lot of people such as myself that doesn't, uh, we don't have the confidence that we have uh, in order to say, okay, well, if I clear my system cache, you know, is it going to cause any other damage? It's a risk I wasn't willing to take because I have so much stuff uh, saved on my system in all various forms, I wasn't willing to take that chance. Even if there's no chance to be taken, I still don't want to take it. Um, so I'm sure there's lots and lots of people in my shoes that feel that same way. So um, so we're at this point now. I'm just going to fast forward through this little section here. As you can see, I'm about uh, 258,000 plus right now. Ditch effort, you can always shoot this thing here and that'll uh, blow anybody up. I would generally rule of thumb, I really don't let anyone get past this point right about here. I always want to try to take them out in this area right here. So it's some, uh, it's kind of some rules of engagement. Here, here's a critical part. Now it's going to reload and in between the chapters you got to hit pause. Right about right there is where you have to hit it. As soon as the score screen goes away and the new screen starts, you know, before that new chapter screen starts, you have to hit pause. Go down here, hit reload last checkpoint. You have to hit it right there. As soon as the score screen, score screen goes away, hit your start button on your controller, pause the game, and hit reload last checkpoint. Do you want to accept it? And you accept it. Um, the only thing I want to do tell you, since I have you here, is first off, before I forget, if you do die, when you're doing this, you can still restart it. Okay, that's a crucial thing to know. You can still restart it. The only reason I'm standing here right now is this is not where you want to stand when it's on insane. As you can see, you're pretty much getting shot at every every second of the way. The reason I wanted to stand here real quick is because sometimes the system is a it glitches out. Sometimes you have to throw grenades out here. You know, out where I'm shooting right here, to try to lodge a guy that gets stuck. You know, sometimes you have to shoot at the corner. Um, sometimes you have to, uh, you know, you, you have to somehow lodge the guy out. And it does happen, not a lot, but it does happen. Um, so you, you have to make sure that you can dislodge the guy that's glitched out um, out there somewhere. Uh, and a lot of times it's a grinder that gets glitched out. So just make sure if it seems like the screen's like stalled for no reason really, it's because there's a guy stuck out here outside the main door here so that's it for now um, just make sure you hit and hit your uh, reload checkpoints just just right after the score screen stops and uh, you won't have any problems doing it this way 